What's going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at this Malinovsky. Now hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. We will just go with his first name which is Ruslan I'm pretty sure. So hopefully I'm pronouncing at least one of those two uh, names correctly. I'm absolutely terrible with names as you guys are know. If you're, if you're a familiar viewer of the channel you will know I butcher approximately like 70% of the player names that I do review. But we have got this new player of the month card. 87 rated, an 82 rated squad and only one inform. So it's coming in at roughly 30,000 coins which i personally think is not bad value on face stats he's, he's five foot eleven with medium medium work rates he's a left footer and he's got that four star four star that four star four star is very nice you head on over to the in-game attributes his pace is solid of 84 definitely want to get that up a little bit shooting is solid that 99 shot power and 96 long shots is brilliant but you actually look at that 80 finishing and you're like that's a little bit iffy now i did originally have a have an engine on him like i have an engine on him now but now i'm looking at his in games you could definitely debate a hunter meaning you'll just have to put up with his poor agility and balance i think his, his long shots of 96 99 shot power 91 penalties 85 positioning is fine but then you look at the finishing and it'll be a little bit inconsistent you go to his passing he's got some great passing 91 curve 87 long passing 91 short passing 92 free kicks 85 crossing and 90 vision dribbling 91 ball control and 89 in-game dribbling is nice but the 74 agility 78 balance he's 5 foot 11 he's going to feel a little bit stiff on the ball you then go look at his defensive stats and they're very solid and I just put a tweet out chuck a shadow on him attacking minded box to box who says no? He's one of the cards that I think wouldn't be great as a lone striker. I think you have to either play him in a two-striker formation or play him as like a central cam in a 4-2-3-1 because he's not quite, quite got that finishing to be consistent in front of net. Head on over to the physicals, absolutely fine. Power trait, or sorry, player trait has got the power free kick. If we head on over to the footman view here, um, as I said, I think a hunter, if you're going to be playing him as a striker, I think you've definitely just got to be going for a hunter, lads. Um, a hunter puts him up to a 90 rated striker 94 pace he gets that plus 10 finishing i'm sure he's going to be heavy he's got a stocky body type with 74 agility and 78 balance which is just simply not ideal so he'll definitely feel a little bit stiff on the ball as well please ignore the ads i do think as well another option would be an engine if you were to play him as a cam an engine puts him to a 91 rated cam and look at both stats as a central attacking midfielder these stats look ridiculously good so what i think i'm going to do is i think i'm going to start him as a striker but i'm going to move him to a central cam in a 4-2-3-1 most likely behind uh in form neymar this card looks really good and i also said before as well chuck a shadow on him boom he's an 88 rated center mid dude box to box center mid very close to hullet gang this is a very interesting versatile looking card this is the end of a review i stand corrected i see these 30 000 coins he's 19 000 coins that is absolutely ridiculous. The team we're facing, a very nice team. This is a very, very good team. So it's, gonna, it's a very meta team. So this will be a big test here for them. Let's see what Ruslan has got for us. Now, I, I'm going to want to chuck the... Dude, he feels a little bit heavy, but he's got the ball, and that's what matters. Now, uh, we're going to chuck a pause, because for some reason, the player name is not displaying over my player. So we got to switch that up ASAP. Um, but he's definitely... You can definitely tell he's heavier. So if you are going to be playing him as a striker with a hunter definitely pair him up with a smaller striker like i'm pairing him up with an inform neymar they will complement each other very well because obviously neymar can dribble neymar can move in the box etc etc and he can try and find ruslan in the box now let's sort this name out so we can see a name above the top of his head now we're going to be starting him in a 4-4-2 like this but as i said we might actually move to a 4 2 3 one we'll change it in game go to a 4 2 3 one play him central cam just behind neymar um i think an engine definitely suits him for a cam shadow suits him for a center mid and a hunter suits him for a striker the only issue is if you're going to be using a hunter on him you do have to deal with a 74 agility and 76 balance i believe marionski will send uh ronaldinho away there we see zidane into the box zidane can we win that bro they hit bro uh, bro you literally you literally headbutt someone your thing is to hit the ball your thing is to bash something with your head and what do you do you do not score the one-on-one -on -one header that is uh terrible <laughs> i i'm so bad with headers man i hate how they're like really manual and you have to get it like bang on net um, yeah, unfortunate man, but I, I believe was it Mal I keep butchering saying we'll just say uh, Ruslan back to him now now Yeah, he's actually triggering that run which is really nice. We'll keep going you know what near post Can we finish that the keeper pulls off a wieldy, you know the keeper pulls off a wieldy, but that is a brilliant run from Ruslan Malionsky uh, pro once again, pro Probably butchering that name now, although he's got the stocky body type, I did notice that he feels fast. He, he is definitely fast. I feel like speed or pace with this dude's not going to be a problem. He's got 84 paces as face stat. 
Chuck an engine on him, he's got 89. I think that's, you know, definitely bearable. Chuck, chuck a hunter on him and he's got 94. 94 pace is more than enough. He's making that run now. I was going to see if we could try to find him, but I think the, the uh, defender just got very... Can't quite win it in the air. to low far, though. Neymar. Neymar near post. We love that. Really good goal, boys. 1-0 up. Now, Molinowski did get involved a little bit there. Um, he found his way in a great position in the box. He was there for the header. Um, obviously, we, we didn't quite find him, but he's still in the box. He's still there. He's still ready. Um, so, so we like that. Not bad. I'm actually really impressed with him. I, I do think he's a little bit heavy on the ball. He's been a little... He, he's been bulged off the ball a few times. There's no denying that, that he is quite heavy. But if you play to his play style, and as I said, me pairing him up with Neymar... Neymar can do the dirty work like he's just done and find him in the box, which obviously this is offside, I think. I did have a feeling it was offside. Um, but like Neymar's doing the dirty work for me like he's done just there. You can dribble with Neymar, you can use his left stick dribbling. But like, as I said, Malinowski, he can't really, he can't dribble like Neymar can. So he's going to be the one, he's going to be the target man in the box, if you will, whilst you've got Neymar doing all of the, the dribbling and stuff. So if you're going to be playing him in a two striker formation, do yourself a favour and pair him up with someone that is a lot better on the ball and can actually turn. Like, even like a player of the month being Yeda, Lionel Messi, Neymar, you guys get the gist of it. Oh, that's a brilliant ball from him. Neymar, go on Neymar, keep going son. Neymar, chip it over. That is going in. That's going in. And that is a Malinowski assist as well, boys. That is a very nice assist as well. Honestly, when he got that through ball through, that genuinely su surprised me. I was like, I, I was not expecting him to do that. And then before I know it, Neymar's through. My opponent just timed the offside trap a little bit too early. Go on, Malinowski's now making that run. Now, a little bit of an example for his pace there. He wasn't, per se, catching up to Rudiger, but he definitely challenged him. Rudiger's got, like, 95 pace in game with a, with a shadow. So, he's, as I said, he's definitely not slow by any means. Now and again, though, his pace, he's not the fastest, but he's not the slowest, right? Like, it's it's good enough. Go on. Time bad again. My opponent keeps trying to offside track me. And I'm not going to lie, with respect to my opponent... He is absolutely terrible when it comes to offside trapping. But if you're trying to offside trap someone, you better do it right, because that's the second time he's literally just helped me out there. An amazing finish by Neymar. Um, I can't really remember if, if Molinowski, or Malinowski, I think it is, it got, got involved there. Um, but a nice 3-1 up, boys. This is a very close game, to be fair, against a solid opponent and a very sweaty team. Honestly, if this dude learned how to offside trap, it would probably still be 1-1 right now. Get one more attack. Roberto Carlos. Send someone. There it is, Malinowski. Go on. See, like I said, enough pace. Let's just live that in to Neymar. It's going straight to the keeper. Right. You know what? Solid first half from him. Um, he feels fast enough. On the ball, like his actual ball control is really nice. Sure, his agility and balance is a little bit heavy on the turn. Other than that, though, I think he's actually had a really good performance. His passing is really nice. He's got some really solid physical. I'm actually going to go ahead. I'm going to switch to a 4-2-3-1, and I'm going to play him right behind Neymar. I'm going to play him exactly like this. I think as a cam, like he can play center forward slash center mid. Obviously, he can play cam as well if you want him to. I think a cam, like he's a 91 rated cam with an engine. Um, I believe he's an 88 rated center mid with a shadow, and he's a 90 rated striker with a hunter. This card is very versatile, and I really like that about him. Love that. Go on, watch him try offside trap me and him fuck it up again. Ronaldinho. Across. Neymar. 4 1, boys. That's it, boys. That's it. Lovely. This is actually a really good game as well. Like, my opponent's a very solid player with a very solid team. Go on, Malinowski. Yeah, sends him. Nice. No, send Ronaldinho. That's actually brilliant from him. Back post to Neymar. Neymar's fin that, That's amazing. That is an amazing goal. Malinowski has done it brilliant there. Neymar's done brilliant near. Ronaldinho's done brilliant near. Brilliant near. Isn't what my opponent's given up. He's scoring own goals, boys. He's scoring own goals. He has given up. Very, very good performance from everyone. Is he going to score? Does he not realize that it's going to kick him out when he scores free? Or maybe... Or, or, what is he doing? <laughs> oh, we'll take it, boys. We'll fucking take it. A cheeky win there. I thought my opponent was a good player at first. It was a very tight game. My opponent even made it 2-1 at one point. Um, and, and then he comes out and, and the, uh, he keeps trying to... He, he's, I don't know. I feel like he's borderline a good player. He keeps trying to offside trap me and it never really worked for him. And he didn't learn after the first time. Then he just gave up there. A cheeky 5-1 win there. Um, Neymar was brilliant. Now Malinowski, I believe, got this assist. Yeah, it's not going to show it. It's not going to show it. It's not going to show us through ball. But this was a brilliant through ball from Malinowski. 
Malinowski sending Neymar for one goal. And is it going to show our recent one? It is. So as you can see, Malinowski there, we, we did some skill moves before. Um, we absolutely sent Varane there. And that's a great ball down to Ronaldinho. And we saw Neymar back post. That's a very well worked goal. Um, honestly, this card is a versatile beast. He, he can pass. He can run. He's quite fast. He, he can shoot. His shot power and long shots is ridiculously good. Um, he, as I said, he can pass. He can dribble. He can actually, I think, despite the agility and balance, he can dribble. Like, his actual ball control is really nice. He is a bit heavy on the turn. There's no denying that. But I think this is a really cheap, versatile card. Heading on over to the pros and cons, boys. Now, remember, and this is 20,000 coins for an 87 rated card, or 19,000 coins even, which is a similar price to if you were to uh, pay for an 87 rated on the market anyway. So even if you're going to buy this card, try him out for a few games. And if you don't like him, lads, then what you can do, if, if you don't like him in-game, then you can simply use him as fodder. It is as simple as that. You can use them for 5 games, 10 games. If you don't like him, use them for fodder. I think how cheap this card is definitely bumps up his overall rating. He picked up an assist for me, but not only that, he contributed a lot. As I said, starting off with the pros, we're going to say 4 star, 4 star. We're going to say his 84 pace. I don't think it's bad, but I think... I will, I like... I, we're going to count it as a pro, and it's not like a massive pro. 84 pace isn't crazy, but I think for the type of card you get, in the sense you can play him anywhere, I think 84 pace is enough. We're going to say 88 shooting, specifically that 99 shot power and 96 long shots. We're going to say his passing, but 91 short passing, especially dribbling of 91 ball control, and as well, we're going to go for the 88 stamina. Honestly, the only con I can think of is a 74 agility, and I, I think that's really it, man. 74 agility, you could debate 78 balance with an engine. 88 balance and 79 agility is good but another pro we're going to add is versatile versatile is a very 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 important to have he's a type of card which as i said if you're going to be playing him as a striker sorry ignore the hiccup if we're going to, if you're going to play him as a striker use a hunter he's a 90 rated striker in game if you're going to play him as a, as a cam use an engine get that dribbling boost get that agility and balance boost boom he's an 88 rated cam if you're going to play him as a box to box center mid um then get a oh no sorry no he's a 91 rated cam with an engine sorry and if you want to play him as a box to box center mid chuck a shadow on him and he's an 88 rated center mid so you've got a card that varies from 88 to 91 rated in game with different chemistry styles in different positions and it is absolutely brilliant to have in a card the fact he's so cheap i'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 for the actual card i'd give him an 8 out of 10 but the fact he is so cheap, that makes it a 10. The average of 8 and 10 is 9. So let's meet in the middle, give him a 9 out of 10. Um, now, is he a good card? I wouldn't say like he's an insane card. So is he an insane card? No. Is he a bad card? No. Is he a good card? Yeah, he's a solid card. Is he fun? Yes. Is he a player that you'll, you'll be using in high tier foot champs games? No, 110% not. But he's a player that you could chill with in division rivals, maybe if you're trying to get some objectives done. Or as I said, you might just do it for fun. Maybe you are an Atlanta fan. Maybe you're from Ukraine. Maybe you want to do something cool with, with a Ukrainian player. Obviously, we all know what's happening in Ukraine and, and stuff like that. So if you want to have some fun with him, have him, have him for sentimental value, there is always that. So I think it's a really, really, really fun card um, and a really, really well-priced SBC. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys later.